Hello everyone, my name is Abhi and you are uh, watching Cloud Crafting in Abhi World. So in previous video we have uh, purchased a domain name from GoDaddy. So now we are uh, like uh, adding a certificate, HTTPS secured certificate in uh, that domain. So now we uh, we in uh, we are in Amazon AWS console. So now in AWS we have ACM uh, ACM certificate. So ACM certificate is free. So we don't uh, afraid about that uh, money. So in search box we have to search ACM and certificate manager. So we are now searching the certificate manager AWS private searching manager. So now you, now you are seeing that uh, create a private certificate or we have a certificate manager here. So certificate manager we have request a certificate. So you are now seeing that request a certificate. So we click on the request certificate and now we see the certificate type. Certificate type request a public certificate and then valid validation method. And we have to give a domain name which is a start from a star and dot. So we are using the star and dot and then our domain name is hhimson.xyz. So now you are seeing we are writing star and dot and then we are using that uh, our uh, domain name hemson.xyz you are seeing in my uh, GoDaddy account so we are writing that go hemson dot uh, xyz and then validation method so we have dns validation method and the key algorithm we have rsa 2040 and we have also we have to add tags here so add new tags key so we have a name key name and the value is our domain name so hemson.xyz so here we have to uh, request for certificate so now we click on the request button so we have to we have added the text and we have to uh, request we have to request so click on the request so we request for the certificate now the console is opening uh, for <coughs> certificate so now you see the certificate is in pending state because uh, the domain name uh, domain we we did uh, we, we don't uh, now we don't uh, register the domain name c name and the c value in our GoDaddy account. So here the status is pending validation. So you will you are say, uh, seeing here so pending validation. So we have to add our domain uh, our uh, certificate c name and c value in the GoDaddy. Uh, DNS record. So now you see that C name is here. C name and the here we see the C name and C value here. So C C name is a name and C value is a value which which we have to add in our DNS uh, record in a GoDaddy so account. So we have to go to the GoDaddy account. So so here we are in GoDaddy account. So here we have to click in our Hemson uh, domain name and then the console is opening so we are here in uh, dashboard so now we have to go to the manage account so you see the le in left hand side we have domain so domain in the domain section we we have manage dns uh, so we click on the manage dns and then what we have to see that uh, manage dns and then we have a console where we have a portfolio and DNS and transfers all the things so, and here we have add new record so you see that DNS records are there so here in DNS record we have uh, we have uh, record the our, our certificate address and all the things so here we have to choose C name as we see in the AWS site and here <coughs> our name in the name in the place of name we have to add the C name and in the place of value we have to add a value so you are seeing that we are uh, go, coming in the AWS site and copy the C name and we have to uh, paste it as it is like uh, in the godaddy.com but we have to remove the last part like dot hemson dot xyz so uh, it is mandatory and we have to uh, copy the uh, C value and paste it paste it there but we remember one thing that we have to uh, we have to remove the dot in the aws c value 
so you you have seen here like you seen here we have to remove that yeah i have removed and in the ttl value we have to you know, use the default value which is 1r and then save and then we are saving this and then uh, our record will be uh, record in the in the uh, near section so here your dns record has been updated successfully most dns updated takes effect within an hour but could take up to 48 hours to update globally so we have to wait for 1 hour or 48 hour so here we have record c name so here we have aws record here so we have to check in aws site for the validation is successful or not or we have to take 48 hours or 1 hour so let's go to the aws page acm so we have to go to the so our certificate page so here uh, yeah yeah so here we have certificate status pending validation so now i am coming in the status bar and we have to refresh here so the pending status is pending so now we have to wait for 1 hour or 48 hours for the status changing so this changes uh, takes times so don't worry and we will see here so thank you for watching this video so uh, the we have we, why we use the uh, certificate so we use the certificate to secure our uh, to show our secure connection so we have the https secured certificate in the amazon website so this is a, there, are, there is a document uh, as same we have to add in our hemson.xyz website so this is certificate uh, we have uh, add here so thank you thank you for watching my videos and stay tuned and please like subscribe and we are like we will meet in next video with the next topic so stay tuned with my play my like stay tuned with my playlist uh, i am like uh, starting from like scratch devops